This video is intended to give you a quick look at how to get started programming your base station 3200. The first step is to turn your dial to the sign dial position. First thing you'll notice in the on the screen is a column on the left. The word search is highlighted. You also have the words help and unassign. Here on the right you have a list of zones and a bunch of boxes with dashes in them that indicate there is nothing assigned to that zone number. On your bicoders that you've installed in the field, you'll notice that there's a serial number. The serial number here is a unique identifier for each one of these bicoders. The base station 3200 will search its entire two wire path for any bicoders that are already pre installed on its wire path, and it will bring those bicoders back into a list and list them here. You can then highlight those bicoders and assign them to the zone numbers here. I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you're going to do is with search highlighted, you're going to press enter. The controller will then go search the two wire path for all of the decoders that it can find and bring them in a list. You can see the controller going through that process now. When the controller's done searching, you'll see that now in the list, there are a list of bicoders, and I can go through and search these by pressing my plus and minus key to move up and down in the list. To assign a zone, I simply highlight the, the, the bicoder serial number that I want to as assign, and I can move up and down in my zone column to select the zone that I want to assign it to. In this case, we'll assign this serial number to this zone number, and to do that, I press enter. Of course, you've got the helpful uh, on-screen prompts to help you remember what you need to do. Press enter. The controller will then go quickly assign that bicoder to the serial number. You'll notice that that bicoder is no longer available in the unassigned list here on the left. Now also notice that you've got a couple of helpful things here on the bottom of the screen. The first one is a status. In my case, I, I have a status equals OK, which means the, serial, the decoder is OK, that it has a solenoid and, and it saw uh, 0.19 amps um, from the solenoid when it was tested. If the solenoid had an open circuit or a short circuit, it would display that as well. The next step is to go ahead and configure the zones. To do this step, you need to turn the dial to the zones dial position. In this screen, you'll notice a couple of things. First, the program that the zone is assigned to or that you're configuring is up in the upper left-hand corner. Then you have a zone number, and then we'll walk through each of these boxes here in just a second. If you want to change the program that this zone is assigned to, press the previous key and then plus or minus to set the program. You assign a zone to a program by enabling it and giving it a runtime. I'll show you that right now. So if you want to change the zone that you're configuring, you can press plus or minus to change that. In the zone mode box, you got a couple of options. The first is just timed, and that's like any normal irrigation timer, you're going to give the zone a runtime. You can also make the zone a primary zone by pressing the plus key. A primary zone allows you to assign moisture sensors to that zone as well as link other zones to it, which will reflect the watering behavior of the primary zone. Let's go ahead and make zone one a primary zone. See it says press enter to make this change. I'm going to press enter and you see I now have a primary zone. I can then press the next key to go down and change the uh, runtime. In this case, let's just set it up for 10 minutes. I'm going to use my next key and then plus down to it. I have also have the option of setting up cycle and soak times for the zone. Press my arrow key down. I'm going to, so let's say I want my cycle time to be five minutes which is half of my run time and then my soak time can be whatever I want let's make it 15 minutes just for this example we can do it yeah, you can really set the settings however you like if I know the design flow uh, and I'm not using a flow meter and want to manually enter a design flow I can do that here I also have the ability to uh, disable the zone. Now if I don't want to use the zone but I don't want to lose any of my settings, maybe I've got a head broken, or I can disable the zone without losing any of the settings or program assignments and so forth. And I can do that by simply using next uh, down to that box and hitting plus or minus. Now if I get into any trouble and I want to see on screen help I can use my next button highlight help blue and press enter and get on screen instructions for that specific screen that I'm in. Once I've done that I can then go make the change for the next zone in program one. I'm going to change the zone by plus 
come down to the zone mode box. My first option is timed, however, I'm going to make this linked. Now you'll notice when I change this linked to zone 1, I then have automatically in here my zone water time of 10 minutes, the cycle and the soak times followed automatically into the zone settings, which is nice when you have a lot of zones that have similar watering features. The last step is to set up the start times, start days, and water windows for the program. To set up your program, turn your dial to the program's dial position. In this screen, you'll see you have a number of options. We can set up program start times, configure our start days or our day intervals. Uh, we have program water windows, and then we have a couple of other settings, which is concurrent zone settings and then advanced program setup. To set up a program start time, highlight the square blue and press enter. You'll notice that I have uh, the program here that I want to set the, the start time for. I can change that with my plus or minus key, and then I have eight start times that I can set simply by pressing the next button to highlight the box and using plus or minus to change the start time. We'll put this to 4 a.m. for this example. So program one has a start time of 4 a.m. Once I've set my start times for the program, I can then go down with my next key to start day setup, press enter. Again, I select the program in the upper box, change that with a plus or minus key, and then I have a couple of options. The first option is days of the week. You can see here below it that I can set a yes or a no for each day of the week, which will allow or disallow watering starts on that day. I also, by pressing the plus or the minus key, can go to a straight interval. So I have a schedule type as interval days. The next, I can actually tell it how many days to wait or what day I want it to start that interval, and then the number of days in between watering. Let's set this to two. You notice that uh, it defaulted to tomorrow's date in this case. The next option that I have is the water window setup. Press next down to highlight it and press enter to go into that screen. Again, I select the program in the first box. I have two options. I can set the water window for the whole week, which is weekly. By pressing plus, I can change it for each day of the week individually. Let's go ahead and set this to weekly for this example. I can use my next button. You'll see here that it, it goes down. And if I wanted to turn it off, not allow watering after the hours of 7 a.m., I'm going to use my minus or plus key and my next button to change the hours. And so between 7 and noon, the boxes are white and the controller will not allow watering during that, during that time. Once I've got my program water set up for the program, I can go back use my next button down to the concurrent zones setup. In this screen I've got a column on the left which is the program number and then on the column on the right I have the number of maximum zones I want to allow to run at one time for that program. Let's say for program one I have enough water that I'm going to allow it to water three zones at a time. With my next key come down to the total allowed box which is the total number of zones allowed on the entire system uh, across all programs. I'm going to set this to three because the controller will water the lesser of those two numbers. The smallest number will be the maximum number of zones that can turn on. Those are all of the program setup options in the program's dial position of the base station 3200. Thanks for watching.